Hello, it's Serena, your independent sensory consultant, coming to you with my end of January empties. Today is January 28th, so I might have one more empty clamshell before the end of the month, but my bin is getting very full and I wanted to go through some of these because they are, some of them are bringing back my bar. I've got to make some tough decisions as to what I just need to buy a couple bars of, what I need to put in my Scentsy Club. Because in Scentsy Club, the subscription service, you can always get your bar. So if I put these in my Scentsy Club, these bring back my bars, I will. they will always make it for me as long as I don't skip more than once a, a year and don't take it out. So I got to make some decisions. First off, I would like to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I would have never guessed so many people would have wanted to watch me talk about Scentsy because I just love Scentsy. I became a consultant because I was buying a lot of Scentsy. I have three smelly dogs and I don't like my house to smell like dog. I don't, I like it to smell wonderful. So I use a lot of Scentsy. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Thanks for subscribing and let's get started. So I warmed a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things. Hazelnut latte is a bring back my bar that I warmed three of. One day I warmed some hazelnut latte, perk me up, and vanilla cream around the house. I have a very open area downstairs and some of it's two stories high. So I need my scents strong and I like them to last a while. So hazelnut latte, I did enjoy. Mm, it's just coffee, wonderful hazelnut goodness. I love it. I think I might be adding that to my uh, Scentsy Club. Today, what I am warming downstairs is spiced eggnog, which was a brick from December. I mean, the, uh, the holiday brick collection or seasonal bricks in 2021. And I honestly think this is my last brick. I'm very sad about this. I love this one. My husband actually likes this one. I mix, I warmed the last, I think I had two cubes left. I warmed some crumb top and alternating warmers and spiced eggnog. Wow, was that wonderful. Starburst Sky is a Valentine's Collection scent. It is, I believe, sweet apple, whipped vanilla, creamy coconut, and then amber. Okay. Amber Blossom. Mm, it's good. I warmed this in my bedroom. I honestly think this may be a club contender. I need to do some editing to my Scentsy Club to figure out what bring back my bars and go on through. Crumb Top, I know is in there. Hazelnut Latte, pretty sure. This is not Scentsy, but... When I don't have the Scentsy Cotton cleanups, um, or I don't want to use my spatula, I don't want to wait for the wax to harden a little bit and use my spatula, I do like these. These are a great size, the Super Jumbo, to get out my wax. Now, we got some bags in here because I've got messy stuff. Uh, hand soap, palm trees, and peachy and palm trees. This was a nice. This I warmed, I honestly think... This did not get put in my last empties. I do not think I warmed these in January. I think it was the end of December. Cozy Fireside was a scent of the season collection. It is nice. I did not, I'm not going to add this one to my club or I did not. Um, it's really, it's got the dark, dark, deep spices in it. And those are not my preference. I am more a sweet, fruity bakery girl. Uh, my husband likes those scents as well. So that's the kind of scents I use usually warm in my home the dark deep scents i am not so big on he actually liked that he likes clove and cinnamon too which i can only take in small doses i enjoy it for a short time in some warmers anyway apple press is one of my husband's favorites i love this it is going to my scentsy club mm, apple press is wonderful um it's just a little different than johnny Appleseed. i also like um orchard apple and spice I might have a lot of apples in my Scentsy Club this time. I don't know. Spiced Berries is kind of deep and dark. Um, I warmed it. <clears throat> Whew. I was not necessarily the biggest fan. It did perform pretty well. I'm trying to find the scent notes on this one. Oh, my dogs may be crazy. I'm so sorry. Frankincense and myrrh. Waft beneath decadent berries to create a timeless scent. I think we're having a delivery and that dog goes crazy when there's a delivery. So I apologize for the barking. Spiced berries was dark and deep. Not my preferred scent, but if you like that kind of scent, I'm sure you would like it because it was a good one. Uh, melon and April. Melon and April. Melon and apple granita. 
Mm, I'm warming that in my room and in my Scentsy room right here today. Crumb top, another crumb top. This is just wonderful. Mmm, crumb top goodness. Um, this one is going in my Scentsy Club. I told you that already. I don't know why I have a thing of ribbon in my Scentsy empties, but let's move that. Okay, uh, vanilla cream. I'm still not sure if I like vanilla cream or simply vanilla better. I'm going to put this in my Scentsy Club and make a final decision. Uh, let's see. Perk me up. I did warm with hazelnut latte. This is this is a good cream, almost like coffee with cream. I do like it. And it, it, since he doesn't have a lot of coffee scents, so I honestly think I'm going to have to put both in my club. Caramel chestnut. I actually warmed caramel chestnut in some warm alternating warmers with apple press. It was wonderful. I do not have caramel chestnut in my club. Right now it's in the catalog, but I am sure that it will be going away come March 1st. Fried ice cream. I liked it. But it honestly had like a toasted nut flavor to me um, with like some spices. I am not going to club it. Um, I enjoyed it. I'll warm what I have and I will be fine with that. Uh, pink cotton. Pink cotton. Pink coconut. Pink coconut is the scent of the month for February. Yes, February. And um, I actually like it. It's it's just a, I don't have the scent notes here. It's a nice scent. I do like it. Woodland suede. Oh, I warmed this in my bedroom. I like it. Um, a friend of mine got some and it was too much for her. So she had to tame it down. I liked this. My bedroom is pretty large with high ceilings and I didn't have a problem with this one. And I did not get complaints from my husband. Sometimes he'll be like, mm, this is too much in the bedroom. Uh, vanilla cream. Again, not sure. Not sure if I'm going to club it or what. I have a bunch of junk in here. I don't know what I did. Uh, washer whiffs and cranberry tinsel. Mm, I really liked this. I'm finishing up the laundry liquid now. And then I will be done with that. I don't have any more. Coconut and pumpkin pie. This one, I warmed this and I was not a big fan. Um, I, I don't get coconut or pumpkin pie. I, I don't know what I get. It did put out scent. Um, I don't know. I still get, I don't know. I get some kind of toasted nutty. I get another toasted nuttiness. I don't know if my sniffer's not working or what. Um, so this one is not going to go in my club. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't one I need to rewarm. Not everyone can like every scent and everyone's scent's preferences are different. So if I don't like one, it may be one that you love and that's fine. And things are going to do different in my house than they are in your house because air, air movement in the house, um, where the vents are for heat or air conditioning, how high your ceilings are, how open the room, all those things affect how a fragrance can do in your environment. Arctic kiss. Arctic Kiss, um, I just, they just released the discontinued list and I know that this one is discontinuing. It's going in my Scentsy Club because I love Arctic Kiss. Someone said to mix Arctic Kiss with Fluffy Fleece. I'm going to be trying that soon because I still have a partial brick of Fluffy Fleece that uh, my husband is not a fan of, so I have to monitor when I warm that one when he's not here. Coconut Palm. Coconut Palm, I tried to warm this in smaller rooms, um... It's a, it's just kind of a nice, fresh, light coconut scent. I don't need to club that. It wasn't bad. And I did pretty good in my bathroom. In a smaller room, it did better than in a large room. Pink Haze. This one is an old bar and it is stained. Um, so Pink Haze, I just, I just love this. It is in my club. It is never leaving my club. Oh my goodness, I just have all kinds of, well, apparently I emptied my warmer dish. <laughs> And just put that in my empties. I think that's vanilla cream. Anyway, I have bags in here because I I did not completely empty this cloudberry dish soap. And dish soap is going the way, going away, by the way. Um, I like the Scentsy dish soap. When my husband washes dishes, he likes a different brand. Um, I keep some on the counter because I, I love it. I love to use the Scentsy dish soap. Um, this one I emptied into a hand soap pump dispenser and I'm just using it as hand soap because if it's good enough for your dishes and your hands are in your dish soap, it's good enough for hand soap, in my opinion. Since he did not tell me that, but that's just what I think. Anyway, um, Starburst Sky Scentsy Pods. Um, these were good. They're in my bath, my 
the master bathroom. I'm not sure how well they lasted. Um, I'm going to have to go in there and double check, but I didn't think I smelled them this morning. Rum raisin cookie. Now, at first I did not like this. When I warmed it, I liked it more. My husband didn't really have a preference on this one. I'm not sure it needs to go in my Scentsy Club. It's a nice bakery scent, but there's something extra. I don't know if it's just a boozy. I don't get a boozy rum note, but I get something that I'm not, I'm not sure about. Does that make sense? Okay, cranberry muffin. I like cranberry muffin. Now this was my, I think I already talked about this one. This was my original one. These I've already talked about in my first video, but anyway, they're empty, so they're going away. Sticky cinnamon bun. I have decided I don't need in my Scentsy Club because I just got, I just got like cinnamon and a little vanilla. Rise and Sunshine wasn't from a sale. Fried ice cream, we already talked about. I was, I don't know, something about it just did not sit well with me. Uh, coconut pumpkin pie, I am I warmed it. It's not my favorite. Flirtatious, flirtatious. So I warmed this one in my bedroom and it was, it was lighter than I would like. Um, I like my scents to be stronger and to last a little while. Um, if it's strong for a few hours, depending on the room, I'm okay with that. Um, but this, I, it was really mild and it was too mild for the room I put it in. There, that was a nice way to say it. Okay, and then I know I already talked about these earlier. Cucumber Lime is going in my Scentsy Club because I loved it. My husband liked it. It's a nice, fresh scent. I did take it, uh, a couple cubes to my where I work. We warmed it in the lobby, and it was a hit. Sticky cinnamon bun again. I am not putting in my club. Um, Autumn Blaze Maple. It was okay. I'm not big on maple scents, um, so this is not going to be one that I would put in my club. Uh, cinnamon Bear Travel Twist. I put this in my car, um, and... I think in a small area, it would be good. I had to play around with how much of the scent I wanted out. And then a brick in Winter's Eve. I did empty this. Oh, towards the beginning of the month. I think I had left my empties in here from last time. Um, I just had a few that I did like a what I've been warming. Anyway, Winter's Eve, I got rid of that. It was good, but my husband did not appreciate it. And it's it was too much for too long in my opinion. I'm not big on the men's cologne -y type scents and that to me was more of a cologne -y type scent. Um, let me see, I was trying to figure out what bring back my bars I have not warmed yet. I think I've warmed them all except I lost a bar. Don't ask me how I can lose a bar. And I have certain places I keep my Scentsy Wax to keep it safe from my crazy dogs and the heat and everything. I did not warm flower shop because I lost the bar. Now, having said that, flower shop is not one that I would normally choose to warm. No offense to those who like flowers. It was a nice floral and you could smell the stems. It was honestly, you walk into a floral shop, that's what it smelled like. And I put the bar aside because I was gonna warm it in a small room. I think I was gonna warm it in one of my son's rooms. And then I didn't because I thought they were coming home that weekend. And I was like, well, they're not gonna be happy if they come home and their room smells like a flower shop. Then I'm not sure what I did with the bar. I have, I don't lose things. I don't lose scentsy stuff like that. But honestly, that bar is missing. It's missing. I don't know. Um, I did warm everything else. Quiver, we've already talked about before. My last empties, Quiver, I do like. I'm gonna put it in my club because in all the years I've been, three years, I have not been a consultant that long. Quiver has not come back. And a friend of mine loves Quiver. And I'm like, mm, you know what? It hasn't come back for a while. So I'm going to put it in my club because I love it in my bedroom. Pima Cotton, I liked. My husband was not a fan of. Um, I, it was just like what you would want your sheets to smell like out of on the line after they've come out of the wash and they're drying out in the sun. I liked it. It's not one I would warm very often, so it's not gonna go in my club. Peppermint Rush, I liked, but it's not in my gonna go in my club because there's a lot of mint scents I like better. Pear Blossom and Cucumber, I liked. Um, it was in my last, what I've been warming. I didn't like it enough to put it in my club. Uh, Mediterranean Spa is going in my club. It, it just, I got just a wonderful, relaxing, like almost like citrus by the beach type scent. I don't know where I get the citrus, but 
it, it doesn't say that anywhere in it, but I loved it. Um, green tea smoothie, I have not warmed yet. So, um, I have not warmed that one yet because I am not a fan of it on cold. So I'm going to give it a chance. That is like the one other than flower shop that I have not warmed yet. Um, we already talked about all the rest of it. Oh, Autumn Stroll. So there's three I have not warmed yet. Um, Autumn Stroll I have not warmed yet. I'm actually going to try to warm that. It is bright amble under the bright harvest moon, leaves crunching underfoot as peppery cinnamon mingles with dusky plum. It was kind of a darker fall scent to me. And it, it was not on cold. I was not a fan of it. So I'm going to have to see how it does on warm. I'll give it a chance because I want to be fair. So there are three that I have not warmed. Um, one of which, I don't know what happened, but I can't find it. Flower shop is disappeared somewhere. And my dog is barking because he thinks it's his dinner time. But he's a half an hour early, so he has to be patient. My husband's downstairs and he's probably just ignoring him for right now. Anyway, so those are the Scentsy Bars and items I have got through in January. I might have a couple bars at the very last day of January that I go through. They'll go in February's, but I wanted to get on here and kind of talk to you about these Bring Back My Bars. That's mostly what I've been warming in January so that I could figure out what I need to keep in my club or what I just need to buy a couple bars of. Because right away I added a bunch that I thought I would like to my club. So now my club's big. My club doesn't come till March. So I have time to make decisions. Anyway, that is what I have been warming. I would love to hear what ones of these you've warmed and what your thoughts were. Because your thoughts are probably different than mine. Everyone's different. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, find something to bring you joy. Bye.